Hi and welcome to WordPress Site Builder. I'm happy to have you on board and I hope that you enjoy the course. In this video training, I'll show you how to build a WordPress site ready to deliver your product and receive payments by using PLR material. You are going to get 17 easy to follow videos. Here is a list of the videos you will be getting. Video 1 Introduction Video 2 PLR Product Overview Video 3 How to register a domain name Video 4 How to set up your web hosting Video 5 How to install WordPress Video 6 How to change the theme of your WordPress site Video 7 Installing plugins to make your site a complete sales funnel that is ready to deliver your product and take payments. Video 8. Installing plugins. Video 9. How to create a new blog post. Video 10. How to create WordPress pages. For example, creating your thank you page and your squeeze page. Video 11. How to create WordPress pages. Video 12. How to set up your email marketing campaign. Video 13. How to skew your WordPress site. Video 14. How to add your WordPress site to Clickbank. Video 15. How to add your WordPress site to Clickbank. Video 16. How to add your WordPress site to Clickbank. Video 17. How to back up your WordPress site. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you my PLR product that I'll use in this video training to build WordPress site. PLR stands for Private Label Rights. It can come in different formats. The PLR license allows buyers to rebrand the content under their own name. The product can be modified, sold in many different formats. The PLR product that I'll use to build a WordPress site consists of the Actions zip file, which includes the main product, eCover Actions and the PDF manual with instructions on how to load the eCover actions into Photoshop software to create eCovers. The WordPress theme folder that I need to upload to the server to give the site a new look. The video folder. which includes the sales page video file. The images folder. Which includes the images that I need to use with my theme. The instructions folder. which includes the PLR license, the theme setup guide, and the video code that I need to use with the WordPress theme. And the PSD files. which you can edit in Photoshop software. See you in the next video. In this video I'll show you how to register a domain name with GoDaddy. Things to consider. 
The domain name should be related to your product. Memorable, easy to spell. How to choose a good domain name? Well, brainstorm. Look at other products in the same niche. Here is the GoDaddy website at GoDaddy.com that you need to visit. GoDaddy is very popular domain registrar. First thing you need to do is to create your free account. Click on create account. Just fill in the fields. and click create account click on domain names look for the domain search box and type in your chosen domain name for example eCover Actions in the box without www select an extension I highly recommend choosing .com, but if .com is not available, you can choose .net or .org. Click on Go. If the domain is already taken, you will see variations of that domain that you might consider. or select a different extension for example .net.org click on go and hopefully it's available click on continue to registration you will be offered to buy extra variations of your domain but it's not essential click on no thanks If you are already registered with GoDaddy.com, then only enter your username and password to log in. If you are new, then create domain registration information to complete this step. GoDaddy will offer you 5 year subscription. I suggest that you choose the 1 year option. and then click on next click on next click on next click on continue to check out You need to choose your payment option. Click on their terms and click on place order now. I'm not going to place order now because I already purchased a domain name which is ecoveractions.net. Once you finish you will receive a confirmation email from GoDaddy. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your web hosting with HostGator. You need a web hosting to store your site files and images. This is the HostGator website at HostGator.com. It's a very popular choice for web hosting. Click on View Web Hosting Plans to see the options available. I recommend buying the baby plan because you can add unlimited domains, unlimited space. Click on pricing options. Select the one year. And then you click on order now.
Enter your domain name that you purchased, for example, ecavaactions.net, and click Continue to Step 2. Fill in your information. And then click Create Account. HostGator will send you an email including your hosting details. Go to your cPanel login page where you need to enter your username and password to log in. Here is the cPanel. Scroll down. and to the left to see the details of your package. These are the name servers that you need for your domain name so that you can point your domain to your hosting. These name servers included in the email from HostGator as well. Visit godaddy.com and login. Click on my account Click on account summary Scroll down to my domain section and you click on view all in domain manager how to set up name servers to point your domain name to your web host in order to set up the name servers just select the domain click on set name servers to go to a page where you can modify the name servers. You need to enter the name servers that you got from HostGator in sections 1 and 2. And then click OK. It should start propagating and your domain will be linked to your web host. Next, you need to set up your support email address. Log in to your cPanel of your hosting account. Scroll down and click on Email Accounts. Enter support, then choose your password. Password again and click on Create Account. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress in cPanel. Once you are in the HostGator cPanel, scroll down till you see Fantastico Deluxe. Click on that. And then click on WordPress in the left menu. Click on New Installation. Choose your domain name that you bought. Enter your username, for example, admin and password. For admin nickname, just put admin. Enter your email address, for example, support at ecavaactions.net. Enter your site name, for example, ecavaactions.net. And description, ecavaactions. Click on install WordPress.
and then click finish installation. To visit your site simply copy this link and paste it in the address bar of your web browser and press enter. Enter your username and password to log in. Here is your WordPress dashboard. See you in the next video. In this video I'll show you how to change the theme. How to upload the PLR theme to your server. You need an FTP program for that. Here we are at Google and we need an FTP program. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. I use a free software called FileZilla. So type in FileZilla. Here it is, FileZilla-project.org. Click on Download FileZilla Client. Click on Download now and install the program. Open the FileZilla program. This is what you should see. You need to enter your hosting info. The host, username, and password, which you received in the email from HostGator. Click Quick Connect. The left side is showing the files stored on your computer. The right side is showing the files stored on your server. Go to www. Double click WP content. Double click themes. Select the theme folder that you want to upload. Right click Upload. Now it's uploaded to the server and we can see here that we got the theme. Log into your WordPress site. Go to Appearance. and then themes. Activate the theme. When I visit site, you will see the changes take effect. See you in the next video.
In this video I'll show you how to configure your WordPress site. Go to settings. Click on permalinks. By default, WordPress blogs start with permalinks already preset with page numbers so the URL looks like this I'll change the default setting by clicking on the custom structure and type in slash percentage mark post name percentage mark slash and you click on save changes how to make your WordPress site a complete sales funnel you need the WP sales engine plugin for that here we are at Google type in WP sales engine here it is WPSalesEngine.com Scroll down till you see the pricing options. You can purchase the personal license for $79 or the developer license for $97 to download the plugin and get your license key. The next thing is to go to plugins. Click on Add New. I'll install the WP Sales Engine plugin. Click on Upload. Click on Browse. Find the WP Sales Engine plugin zip file on your PC. Here it is, WP Sales Engine. Lefty click on that and then click Open. Click Install Now. Activate plugin. Here it is. The WP Sales Engine is activated. The next thing is to enter your license key and you click on that. Next, go to Plugins. Click on Add a New. Enter Exclude Pages. And click Search Plugins. Install Now.
click OK. Activate plugin. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you how to install all in one SEO plugin. Log into your WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins. Click add a new. Search for all in one SEO pack and then search plugins. Click install now. OK. Click activate plugin. You get this message. Click on the admin page. This is where you configure the all-in-one SEO pack. Scroll down. Plugin status. Click enabled. The next thing to do is filling these fields. Home title. E-cover actions. Home description. Create a stunning e-covers in just a few clicks without expensive graphic designers. Home keywords. Product designs with Photoshop, comma, create a stunning e-covers. Scroll down. And update options. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new blog post. Log into your WordPress dashboard. Go to Post. Click Add a New. This is my blog post. To format your blog post, see these options here. For example, highlight this text and then click bold. Click on this tool, Kitchen Sink. To change the color of some text, just highlight it and choose any color. To change the font size, just highlight it, click on this tool. Choose font size Select Vadana and then click Apply We 
Once you are done, click Publish. Visit site. I can see the changes take effect. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you how to create pages with WP Sales Engine plugin. Here is the Sales Engine. There are two tabs. One for landing pages, for creating new pages. And the Squeeze Pages tab for creating Squeeze Pages. Click on Landing Pages. Select the pages you want to create. For example, Product Download Page, Privacy Policy, Disclaimer, Terms of Service, Contact Page, Affiliate Resource Page, and click Create new pages. Go to pages. You will see those pages created. In the Sales Engine tab, there is a Preferences tab. And here is the Legal Form setting. Just fill in your info, which will be automatically inserted in your pages. And click Save Changes. One of the pages that created automatically is the footer text, which includes everything that appears in the footer section. It's created as a draft, but once we publish this page, it will appear in the footer. Click on footer text. You can insert any text you want. Here is the links. You can delete any link. You can add your own links. Click on Publish. Go to Product Download page. Make some changes that reflect your product. Here you need to provide your support email address. and insert clickbank.com Here is the actual product download link. The web address for this page is difficult to guess. And it's hidden from search engines.
click on save draft go to media click on add new select files left click your file and open once it's uploaded just highlight the URL right click and copy Save all changes. Go to Pages. Find your product download page. Click on that. Highlight this. Click on the hyperlink. Then right click and paste. Add link. Your download link is there. Click on Publish. View page. This is your thank you page URL which you need to copy and paste in the Awaba Autoresponder service later. Once you install the Exclude Pages plugin, you have some options here. Scroll down, uncheck this box to exclude this page from list of pages. Click Update. Go to Sequeeze Pages. Choose one of the templates here. Click on Step 2. Choose your opt-in box and then step 3. Click on finish. Go to pages. Click on opt-in page. You can change the text. This is the short code for the opt-in box. Publish. View page.
Here it is. All these features of the WP Sales Engine can help you in formatting your pages. See you on the next video. In this video, I'll continue creating WordPress pages. Once you install the Exclude Pages plugin, you have some options here. Scroll down and uncheck this box to exclude your squeeze page from list of pages. And check this box to hide this page from search engines. I excluded the squeeze page from list of pages because the buyers will visit this page after payment with Clickbank. Click update Go to view page This is your squeeze page URL which you need to copy and paste in the Clickbank service later Go to Pages. Click on Contact Page. You need to insert your email address here. Click on Publish. View page Here it is See you on the next video In this video I'll show you how to get started in email marketing you need to sign up for Aweb account. Log into your Aweb account. Click on Do This Step. Enter your list name, for example. E-Cover Actions 1 Description Create stunning e-covers in just few clicks Add your name And your email address Click on Save Settings Put your company name and your website URL. And then click Save Settings. On this page, you can edit your confirm email. Enter a subject and you can choose a pre-approved one here is the introduction 
and you can insert field click to add a custom closing for example thank you and insert your name click save settings enter your confirmation success page URL for example ecavactions.net slash affiliates and then click save settings click on do this step to do your welcome email add a subject choose your template and then click next save click on do this step to create your web form to place it on your website choose a template for your form load template click go to step 2 enter your form name for example eCover Actions then choose your thank you page this is where people will be directed to after filling your form Add your website thank you page here. Click save. And then click go to step 3 to place the form on your site. Click on I will install my form and copy the code log into your WordPress site go to opt-in forms and here your opt-in box containers if you change anything in this box it will automatically be changed on your squeeze page change the name and paste your AWABA code in this box and click save changes you can see the AWABA box it will automatically be changed on your squeeze page see you in the next video in this video I'll show you how to secure your WordPress site you need to configure a kismet to prevent comment spam log into your site go to plugins install the plugins by default WordPress already has a Kismet plugin installed click on activate enter your Kismet key
Click on this link and you will be taken to a Kismet website. Get an Akizumet key. Sign up. Follow the registration process and you will be given unique key. Done. Your Akizumet subs subscription is now active. You should receive an email shortly with your API key and instructions on how to activate Akizumet in WordPress. And then you need to enter your key in this field. Check these two boxes and update options. Next, I'll install the Bulletproof Security Plugin. Go to Plugins. Add a new. Type in Bulletproof Security and search Plugins. Click install now. OK. And then activate the plugin. Go to BPS security. Security modes. Check bulletproof mode and activate. I received this message. Did you create your master HD access files using the auto magic buttons? Did you back up your existing HD access files? I'll click cancel. Click on Create Default HD Access File. OK. Click on Create Secure Dot HD Access File. OK. Go to Backup and Restore. Check Backup.htaccess files and Backup files. Check Backup BPS Master.htaccess files and backup master files. Go to security modes. Check bulletproof mode and activate. I received this message. Did you create your master.htaccess files using the auto magic buttons? Did you back up your existing .htaccess files? This time I'll, cre I'll click OK. Again check bulletproof mode and activate. Check bulletproof mode and activate.
and check bulletproof mode and activate go to security status everything is green now I'll see you in the next video In this video, I'll show you how to add your site to ClickBank. You need to sign up for a ClickBank account. Just fill out the form. Try using a username that reflects your product. Tick that box. Agree to the terms. If the username is not available, you have to choose another one. Click Submit. Please check your email and click the link to complete the process. Now you need to link your buy button to your ClickBank account. Log into your WordPress site. Go to Post. Click Edit. And you click on Buy Area. This is the link you need. Replace the access with your ClickBank ID. My ClickBank ID is 24E covers. And insert by area. Click on update. It's the time to add your product to ClickBank. Log into ClickBank. Go to Account Settings. Click on My Site. Click on Edit. and choose the main product, the main category for your product and a subcategory the hoplink target URL is the URL of your home page copy the URL and paste it in here enter the title and description of your product The commission is 50%. Save changes. Go to my products. I'll add a standard product. Click on Add a New Product. Tick the boxes that apply. In my case, it's software. Leave the item number as 1. Add your squeeze page URL. Copy the URL and paste it here. The product price is $17. Enter product title and then save changes. 
See you in the next video. Next, I'll make a test purchase. Click on your buy button. It says this account has not been activated. Log in to ClickBank. Click on My Site. Click Edit. Generate a new card number. Enter the text from the image and click Finish. Copy the number. Go to your order page, enter your details and paste the card number. I need to get the other info, the card expiry date and validation code. Click on pay now. That's OK. Click on complete your order. Here it is. Everything is working fine. The only way to get access is to enter your email below. And this is your product download page. I'll apply for ClickBank approval. Click on My Products. Click on Approval Request Required. Fill out the details on this page. Enter an overview of your product. Say yes, yes, not applicable, yes, yes, digital, innocent after purchase. And click on Submit Product Approval Request. OK. You should receive an email when ClickBank responds. ClickBank may ask you to make changes. Just do it. See you in the next video. Next, you need to activate your product. I received an email from ClickBank. As you can see, my account has been approved. You need to pay to activate your product. After making your payment, your product will be listed in the ClickBank Marketplace. Within one day, ready to take payments. Now I'll show you how to set up your affiliate page to promote your product. Log into your WordPress site. Go to Pages. Click on Affiliate Resource Center. I inserted this image. 
I am offering 50% commission on every sale. And I supplied my support email address. This is the link you need. Make sure this link is your ClickBank ID and the affiliate link is the affiliate ID. So you need to give this link to the affiliates to add their ID. Add your ClickBank ID. In my case it's 24 e-covers. You may also want to buy some banners and add email copies. Click on visit site. Affiliate Resource Center. Here is the affiliate page. See you in the next video. In this video, I'll show you how to backup your WordPress site. You need to buy and install Backup Creator plugin. Go to Backup Creator at BackupCreator.com to buy and download the Backup Creator plugin. Log into your WordPress site. Go to Plugins. Add a new. Upload. Browse. Click on Backup Creator and open. Install now and activate plugin. Go to Backup, backup Creator Settings. Enter your Backup Creator key and email and click Save Backup Creator key. Click Backup this site. OK. Right click on Backup Creator Installer. Save link as and save it. That's it. All you need to do now is driving traffic to your website and building your list. Thank you very much.